my most favorite things is peaches in the summertime, and I just bite into them right at the market. It runs down your arm, it runs down your chin, and you can just stand there and close your eyes and just love it. Strawberries, they're just, they taste like sunshine. I love sweet corn. You bite into it, and the sweetness and the tenderness, it's nothing like you can get at a grocery store. Right now, my favorite food is Melrose apples. They're tart, sweet, and um, very hard. I like taking eggplants and roasting them. I mean, I don't know if there's a vegetable I've met that I don't like. There is no fresh food that I can lay my hands on. I won't find what to do with it. part of the City of Cleveland Sustainability Initiative. It is a marketing, branding, and educational resource for local food in Northeast Ohio. To Grow Ohio, local food means food that is produced or raised within 100 miles of your driving location. We serve a 16-county region, which aligns with the Northeast Ohio region. Whether it's a nonprofit working on some sort of educational aspect or a merchant that sells local food, we serve everything that has to do with local food, specifically farmers markets. I can't think of something that's more important in the city of Cleveland right now than local urban agriculture. Every successful commercial venture, every great city, is a place that supports its own business people, its own artisans, its own farmers. And so from an economic development perspective, it's very sound to support people that actually live and work in your community. We've been coming here for three generations. I came with my grandfather, and then my father, and then I took over the farm. And our farm would not exist if it wasn't for this market. I think local food is about the community. It starts with the community. It's about having access to fresh, healthy food that's going to create healthy people and a healthy community. It's about bringing people together around the table to really have a healthy lifestyle and to help promote the local economy. I think local food does a number of different things for the community. First of all, I think it's a tie that binds us all together. Everybody eats, everybody's an eater, and I think it's a very easy entry point for people into the sustainability movement. And I see local food as an opportunity to kind of come up with solutions as a team and a coalition to make this a better city and make this a better place. When we buy local food, it increases actual property values. It is a very productive reuse of vacant land. And then there's also the multiplier effect in that uh, for every food dollar we spend, there's also some allied industry that is created. So there is every reason as a city why we embrace and support urban agriculture. And we can be the place that shows that microenterprise and economic development in terms of urban agriculture is a way for this community to not be number two, but to be number one. The food that you find at farmer's markets in the neighborhoods here in Cleveland is so much fresher. It's picked that morning or the day before and it was vine ripened, it was tree ripened, it was ripened on the plant and it, it has so much of a higher nutrient content than anything you'll find in the grocery store. There's all kinds of people that come here. It's not just uh, people that want gourmet organic vegetables. It's people that want to do their weekly shopping and get really fresh stuff that's nutritious for their families and stuff that's going to last when they get it home and that where the prices are really fair. I think the freshness of the food here, it's, it's fresh on all levels. The food that we were able to get for the kids, especially my kids being autistic, they're um, very picky um, and this program has been a huge help to get them very good quality food. The flavor is so much better um, and it's nice to talk to the people too that, that do the growing. I really want to be hands-on with my customer because uh, I want you know, to be right there to be able to answer people's questions about how we grow things. 
um, when they have questions about varieties, how they can be used and so forth. It's a very important aspect of the farmer's market. Here it's picked from the field, washed in the field, brought here and, and, and sold to the customer like that. These markets, when you've got people who are growing the food and can talk to people who are buying the food, there's a lot more understanding about the, the produce and how it's grown, where it comes from, when it's harvestable. It's fresh, it's um, um, not like bruised up or anything, it's good quality. You get to know your neighbors, <laughs> you get to socialize with your neighbors, and then you meet friends. Food is something we all need and we all can talk about and relate to and it can cross all kinds of cultural barriers, class barriers, and can get people talking together who wouldn't normally be talking. The local food movement is really about our region as a whole. Whether you like to cook or whether you like to make pickles or pick fruit or grow fruit or just go to a farmer's market and talk to people who are making the food. There's something for everyone. The local food movement is really a way for people to kind of reclaim their city and reclaim their health and a way to just to further a, a, a collective well-being. Farmers markets, farm stands, urban agriculture provide an opportunity for the community to really take back the neighborhood and make healthy food accessible. Healthy food makes healthy people, makes a healthy region. It's a tide that lifts all boats. That's one of the things that I think is so engaging and kind of momentous about local food.